Welcome to the three flat birds. My name's Becky and I'm Grace. And we'd like to start by acknowledging the Kamar Eagle people. They are the traditional custodians of this land. And for tens of thousands of years, First Nations people have come to support that and the land and its wildlife. And we here at Taronga, we do feel very honoured to try and follow in their footsteps and stand for custodians for the wild. That's right, Becky. No matter where you're from or where you live, Every day there's an opportunity to see and connect with the marble birds that are all around us. And all you have to do is look up. All <laughs> <laughs> the birds would come around. Coming, coming, coming. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. Little, wow. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that was my fault. You've got it though. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there. there. <laughs> I can <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's trying. Put on for the Okay. While we're witnessing here today, this behavior, it isn't anything that we're trying Keep to, on, to do. It's completely your instinct. He's still trying. Look at him. Look at him. Get that beak and his feet in to try and crack open the rest of the egg. <laughs> Have a good idea, what's that? Food. <laughs> There we go. Good job, bud. We're good, eh? We do tend to associate tool use like this with humans and other primates. So it's pretty exciting to see Waru here reach his goal. And I think it goes to show that we have so much more in common with birds than we might have thought. Thank you. 
not have a tree hollow in your backyard, but did you know that you can provide an artificial one in the form of a nest box? And that can be for Geary here and all of his friends. You can find out how to do this if you just head on over to our website. There you'll get information on how to source nest boxes and put them up. Because helping wildlife, it really starts in your backyard because that really is your wild community. Some birds out there, they are thriving. Just like the galah. But not all of them are. So today we'd like to give you that opportunity to help. I'm going to need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, and the pink jumper at the back row, I saw you first. All you have to do is stay right where you are. Hold your arm up to the side. Yeah, just a little bit. Face me a little bit more. Excellent. Now stay steady, like the tree branch. It's going to be quick. Snap that picture. Woo! They're thriving in the wild. It's because they're so clever. They're like Jasper. And thank you so much to my enthusiastic volunteer. I really hope that you enjoyed Jasper landing on your hand. Your hand, but all of our hands. They have a lot of power to help wildlife. They can do many things, like installing a nest box. Or if you'd like to help out today, you can head on down here after the presentation to this donation box. We introduced it over 13 years ago. And in that time, you have raised half a million dollars. Every single cent of this has gone to wildlife conservation projects from all over the globe. Right now, we're working really closely with the beautiful region honey eater, which used to be found in flocks of tens of thousands. But today, there are only around three to 500 of these birds left in the wild. The good news in this story is that every single year, we're breeding and releasing groups of honey eaters back into the wild and help support their numbers. But also we have planted lots of native trees to help restore their vital habitat. So anyone who does come on down, if you choose to put in $5, you will receive a special badge, just like the one we're wearing, to showcase some of the amazing birds you have experienced with us today. Um, and yeah, that's a $5 donation. That's a huge thank you to all of us here. It really is with your support that we see a bright future where the skies and your backyard are filled with birds. And it all starts by simply looking up. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here at the Free Flight Bird. Thank you.